and we were meeting with a number of directors, and, and there are a lot of people that seem to be interested. And Jake called one day and said, hey, have you seen Moon? And I said, I haven't. And uh, I watched Duncan's film Moon, just completely knocked out by it. So it was really Jake that brought Duncan to our attention, um, saw the movie, really felt like he was able to use, you know, the, 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 the one space and one actor so beautifully. And given the fact that our film takes place all on a train or mostly on a train, uh, and then you go back and forth to the, to the pod and, you know, back and forth to the train, um, I felt like if he was able to do what he did and keep us engaged in Moon with one actor on one set, basically, uh, with a few, you know, outside pieces, um, he might be a really good candidate to direct um, uh, Source Code. I think what's special about the film is that um, it not only has an enormous amount of, of action and it's a wonderful thriller and it's uh, uh, what's going to happen and is he going to save the day and is he going to find the bad guy and all the things that, that on a pure entertainment level you hope for in a movie like this. But at the end of the film, when the curtain comes down, so to speak, I'd like for people to walk out of the theater feeling that not only have they had a wonderful sort of roller coaster movie going experience, but that they also remember how precious life is. Ben had a terrific idea, which was the idea for this film. Um, and he came in with a pitch, he wrote a draft, and over a period of probably about six months to a year, we continued to develop the script with him. Um, he's a terrifically talented writer. Um, he has wonderful ideas. Um, and I think that he was able to create a story that even though a great deal of it takes place on a train car or two, um, it doesn't feel claustrophobic. It really feels like there's a lot going on.